I'm back with another mukbang. We got some tropical smoothie cafe today. Try to get a little healthy. I got the Asahi uh, Berry Boost smoothie. Never been here before. Never. But y'all know I'm on that little health kick. So, uh, past three days I've been going to the gym. I got me a little quesadilla with some chicken in it. Get y'all let a good look. Let y'all get a good look at that before I start cussing. I mean, I'm trying to be healthy, but I don't want to go by amounts. They can put a, a lot of grilled chicken with some vegetable. Okay. Then they gave me some chips. They say, I said, okay, this is a fruit. Like I thought they were gonna chop some fruit in it. Like some cantaloupe and some watermelon. They said, we got whole fruit, we got apples, oranges. But now I say I take the chips. I get apples and oranges at the house. How about that? So they gave me some chips, barbecue chips, and I got some salsa. Salsa look pretty good. Ooh, it's kind of hot too. So we go ahead and say grace. We'll go ahead and do the Snapchat. We will get in because I gotta go to work. Come get you some. Hey man. Hey man again. Hey man, y'all y'all ever hear uh in squeaky prayers? Blessings. Y'all gonna have church. They ain't give me no napkins. They tripping. Let me go ahead and do the Snapchat. I'll be listening to Squeaky Prayers and I'll be like, I don't even care about eating no more. She did that one with a fish fry Friday. Man. I said, where the collection plate at? Because we need to give her some money. Because I just want she need to do a prayer channel. She need to do a blessing channel. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being serious though, for real. Them good people right there. I still got the boule set up. Tripod ain't can't say be here by 8 o'clock. I gotta go to work. You tripping. Say what up, Ken folk. We got some tropical smoothie cafe today with the quesadillas. And we got the smoothies. I ain't really know they serve food until somebody say, hey, they serve food. Uh, we got the quesadilla with the chicken, some hot and some spicy smelling uh, sauce. And we got some Miss Vicky's chips. I don't know how healthy that is. But it's light, you know, it's, it's a light amount. Been to the gym. Y'all seen it on Snapchat. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh uh, communicate with the kin folk, communicate with y'all, you know what I'm saying, over there on YouTube. You know where I'm at, you know where I be. Come get you some. Say what up, kin folk. We got some tropical smoothie cafe today with the quesadillas, and we got the smoothies. I ain't really know they serve food until somebody say, hey, they serve food. Uh, we got the quesadilla with the chicken, some hot and some spicy smelling uh, sauce, and we got some Miss Vicky's chips. I don't know how healthy that is, but it's light. You know, it's, it's a light amount. Been to the gym. Y'all seen it on Snapchat. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, communicate with the kid folk, communicate with y'all, you know what I'm saying, over there on YouTube. You know where I'm at. You know where I be. Come get you some. Sir. I might go ask that Mr. Man. Why are you giving them nothing? These are... Uh, this quesadilla tastes like my daddy's neck bones. Got a little spice to it like my daddy's neck bones taste like. I don't get it. I don't know why it tastes like that. I mean, it's good now, but I expect quesadilla tastes like quesadilla. I expect chicken tastes like chicken. I expect neck bones to taste like neck bones. I don't get it. I mean, good effort. Scale of one to five, I give it a three and a half. I wish I could have got some tortilla chips for this sauce, though. Cause this sauce pretty good. Mm -mm. Look at that. Ain't even no chicken in that, Kenfo. Ain't even no chicken in that piece right there now. They tripping. I'd rather eat a grilled cheese sandwich in there. This was eleven dollars. Eleven dollars, Ken folk. Tripping. You got a napkin. Anyway, I'm on a little health journey. You know what I'm saying? So this is just enough. I know these chips ain't good for me, but I'm eating them. My body's sore, but I feel better. 
and that's because of consciousness. Because you know you eating all that bad stuff and you ain't going nowhere. And you ain't going to the gym and no play like that. You know it's going to catch up to it. And it caught up to me. Mm. I don't know. Oh, my game. I'm at the house putting up, putting on muscle search. Thinking I still got muscles. Yeah, I got some muscles, all right. Muscles in the freezer at the house. M-U-S-S-E-L-S. -S -S. Got them kind of muscles I be eating. Not muscles I be flexing. It's all good. I'm gonna get the info, and if y'all wanna join me, we can get there together. I'm trying to figure out why this tape, why this case did taste like neck bones, though, for real. My daddy neck bone. All I need is some rice. I should have did a neck bone and rice muck bang. That smoothie is busting, though. It's good. Mm. It's pepper. Mm. It might be just dipping sauce. Mm -mm. It's quesadilla. Yeah, we're selling neck bone quesadillas. It look like chicken quesadillas. You can't see it, Kim Folk. They bringing the hooters here. Homeboy kept me there at night. He said, We need to do a mukbang at Hooters. I said, Boy, if you don't get out of my life and don't pay your cell phone bill so you can't text me no more, I know something. Kiffo don't want to see that. I ain't gonna lie, that is chicken wings, though. I really do. I'll be honest with you. The ex of mine took me to Hooters for my birthday. I said, I ain't even tell her to. She might be trying to say something. And I missed that completely. Because you don't go to Hooters for the food. But I like the chicken wing. You know, two exes of mine took me to Hooters for my birthday. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. They're trying to say, I'm finna do you wrong, so you want any of these girls out of here? <laughs> you wanna take a bit? That right there said you was cute, so I'm just letting you know right now. Nah, it ain't go down like that. Oh, it did it. This is gonna be my smoothie commercial. They need all the help they can get. They got quesadillas tasting like neck bone juice. Mmm. I'm just coming for the smoothies next time. Yeah, this is pretty good. They're like, it's just, it was so complicated. You want me to add this and add one some vitamin C in there? So, and look at man, I just want, uh, I tried to crack a joke with him. I said, <laughs> no, this is my first time here. And I just wanted to, he said, what? He had it like a tone that he said, what? He said, what? I said, no, man, just give me the regular smoothie. Can't get that to me, because I don't know what you're talking about. You should have broke it down to me. I did go through drive through though, so. Oh! Man, I got this off a of site on YouTube. I ain't heard on news yet. But what's this about Steve Harvey losing all this job? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He could lose. What's that job was? The, the Itty Bitty Kitty show. About the kids and teaching children that got talent and all that. Okay. I ain't never seen that day in my life. Okay. Now the talk show, the talk show hurt me a little bit. Cause I always dreamed about going on Steve Harvey talk show before. And telling him my life story. Me and him pretty much got the same background. He's just successful. I ain't. <laughs> I ain't. I was like, I just want to sit down and talk to him. Like, hey man, how'd you get through this? Tell me stuff you done been through, I done been through too. But, really got me. 
It really puts me to the head. And them talking about, he been, they been a kick him off a of family feud. Bump your head, man. Let me tell you this. I don't look at a uh, game show. Now, excuse me, people. The last time I looked at a game show, my mom, my grandma was alive. My mom and mama. We used to look at the prices right in the daytime and Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy at night. Between seven and eight, it was always Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. I ain't even thinking about no game show until Steve Harvey started hosting the Family Feud. And they started putting them YouTube clips on YouTube. Them show clips on YouTube. Man, I ain't never laughed so hard in my life. I go to my mom and daddy house, they look in the Family Feud. Some people like Steve Harvey, some people don't. I like them. I don't care about all that, what he, you know, so some stuff, you know, but what, if I want to look at it, I'm going to look at it. But if you think that show going to survive without Steve Harvey, jump off a bridge, you hear me? Because there's no more future for your life. You know what I'm talking about? You are no help to nobody in your life because you're crazy. I don't know who the owner is. You might well put me... You might well put me on the show to, to replace him. Because even Jesus would be like, no, I ain't going after Steve Harvey. Okay, I don't mean that. That was a joke. <laughs> he ain't finished with me yet. Like Steve Harvey say, he ain't done with me yet, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But for real. You can't, then they tell me I replacing him with Michael Strahan. Boy. You better, you better go somewhere. You better go back and play football before you go behind Steve Harvey hosting the Family Feud. I'm just saying, I don't know Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey ain't paying me to say this, but if you want to, he can. And I'll say it for 24 hours. I ain't lying. I'll say it for a year if you want to, for real. Michael Strahan better be like, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. He got nothing. And what he got time to host Family Feud for? He got Good Morning America. He got a talk show. In the football season, he got the football show. Where he gonna put Good Morning? Where he gonna put a uh, uh, Family Feud at? Huh? Do he sleep? He can't be married. Is my straight hand married? He can't have no. He got kids. They must be looking at him like Daddy. What is time for us? They travel with him? I think not. It's like four show. I'm pretty sure you got another show, and I'm missing out on that one. And you know you got to make time to go to the dentist, get that big gap between his teeth. You know you got to make sure that's 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 all nice and white and crispy. Why you gonna have time to do that? He ain't need that. I'm sorry, I'm just playing. But for real, I, he, he give me the job. He got. I, I get a gap in my mouth. Hey, not not the edges of his teeth, bone, please. I don't get it. Steve Harlan would be like the Jackson 5 without Michael. If he left the family feud, he'd be like, what's the point? What's the point of this, people? Steve Harlan leaving the family feud would be like New Edition leave, New Edition kicking out Ralph Tresvan and John Gill. Like, what, 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 what are we doing here? So it'll pretty much be another show. It be BBD. Y'all know, BBD wasn't as good. It's new edition. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No hate, people. Anyway, am I finished with my neck bones? I mean, in case it's here. Mmm, that was the last bite. You know what they say about the last bite? The last bite is the best bite ever. Hey Z, I finished all my food. You see, I like it when you finish your food. I finished it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share with everybody. You be in the yard raking your leaves up.
of blowing your leaves up, getting the pine straw out the yard. And you see some views stuck in the fence. Go ahead and put them in the envelope, send them my way. I need them, Kim Folk. I need them. No pressure. No pressure, though. We're going to ride till the wood fall off. Let's get daylight out of I lay out, Kim Folk. Let me get the hood real quick. I ain't got no napkins. Ah. Pepper sauce got my nose running. Let me give one more. Let me give one more. Ah. 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 I made it today. I see y'all next video. Y'all have a great day, a blessed evening, and an even better tomorrow. And I ain't said this in a while. <laughs> it ain't the dog in a fight. It's the fight in the dog. Peace.